Hey folks, I'm going to show you how to change your iPhone's root password to something more secure. Now, who needs to do this? Well, anyone who decides to use OpenSSH on their iPhone, as you can see, I have OpenSSH installed. Here's the toggle for it in my SP settings. OpenSSH basically allows you to connect remotely from a Mac or a PC directly to your iPhone via Wi-Fi. So it's important that you do this because if you don't, then it's possible that your iPhone could be compromised because all iPhones come with the same exact password out of the box. And that password is Alpine. So I'm going to show you how to use a command prompt on a Mac to change your iPhone's password. It's extremely easy and extremely simple. And I recommend that everybody take at least five minutes to do this. So first of all, you got to make sure that you have OpenSSH installed. As I said, you can find that in Cydia. All you do is open up Cydia, type open SSH, you can find it. Let me show you actually real quick. All right, you just type open SSH. There it is, you can see I have it installed. So if you have open SSH installed, which I'm presuming you do, then you're gonna to wanna to do this. So here's open SSH, here's where you can get it. Um, that's that. So first and foremost, what you want to do is make sure you have the toggle enabled for OpenSSH. Make sure it's active and running. And make sure you note your IP address for your iPhone, your Wi-Fi IP address. Make sure you note the Wi-Fi IP address, not the data IP address. That's your 3G address. That's irrelevant to this. So once you note your Wi-Fi IP address, as I have here, 10.0.1.5, it's going to be different for you, more than likely. Once you note that, all you need to do is on your Mac, open up a terminal. Just open spotlight, type terminal, okay? And then you should see the command prompt that looks just like this. All right, once you see the command prompt, what you wanna do is you wanna type SSH space and then root, R-O-O-T, at, and then the IP address that we just wrote down or that you just noted. In my case, it'll be 10.0.1.5. Then hit the enter button or return. Now it should pop up and ask you for your password. In this case, if you've never done this, your password is gonna be Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, lowercase. So go ahead and type your password. Okay. Once your password is verified, you should see a prompt that looks like this. It has root. And now you can change your password and it's really easy to do so. All you do is type pass W-D, so P-A-S-S-W. Okay, and then you just hit return. Now it should ask you for a new password. As you can see, it says changing password for root. So now just put in any unique password, make sure you remember it, put in any unique password, and as long as it's not Alpine, you should be okay. I mean, of course you don't wanna use one, two, three, or password, but use something fairly secure, but something that isn't too daunting or too hard for you to remember. So I'm gonna put in my new password here. Okay, it's gonna ask you to verify it. Okay, so the password's changed. It's that easy, folks. That's how you change your root password to something more secure. If you're using OpenSSH, I highly recommend that you do this. Actually, I highly recommend it for anybody who has their iPhone. I mean, that's one of the first things that you probably wanna do after you jailbreak your iPhone. So if you jailbreak, make sure that you change your iPhone's root password. That's my tip for today. This is Jeff with jailbreakmovies.com.